Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. And today I'm showing you these amazing things that I purchased at the thrift store for Christmas and did a little bit of revamping to make them something that is perfect for your Christmas decorations. In this video, I'm showing you how you don't really have to spend a lot of money to decorate your house amazing for Christmas. What I did on Black Friday was I went to my thrift store and I purchased several of these items half price. And some of the items, I just did a few modifications to them so that they fit more into my home decor. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope it inspires you to go to the thrift store and see what they have as far as Christmas decor. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I post several DIY tutorials each week. And if you'd like to see how I update these thrift store finds, just keep watching. The first thing that I created from the thrift store was this amazing tree. This tree was only $7.50 and it came with this base. This is how it looked when I first got it. It's not in too bad of shape, but the base was chipped quite a bit. So I'm going to paint the base of this with Annie Sloan's graphite and I had this paint on hand. I really wanted to try to use things I had around my house instead of going out and buying a bunch of stuff. I find that at thrift stores, there's a lot of different trees. So if you do a little bit of work on them, you can take a really inexpensive tree and make it look amazing. So I was just going to chalk paint this on. I did one coat on this. I really wasn't even concerned if it covered it all the way. I thought it looked nice with a little bit of that gold coming through anyways. So after I chalk painted this, I took it out to my garage and I began by separating each one of the branches. This makes such a difference and it really takes a tree to the next level. So you want to go through and separate all your branches. Then I'm coming in with the snow blower, artificial snow. You can pick this up at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and I sprayed this tree really good because I wanted to have a really nice flocked look to it. And just put on as much or as little as you want. And I just love the way this looks in my entryway. It looks way more expensive than $7.50. Next, I had this wreath. You guys won't believe this. I picked this wreath up for $3.50, and this is what it came like. It had the little snowman on it, and it really looked great. The only thing I wanted to change out was the ribbon. I have these two different ribbons from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go through and cut out the existing ribbon. Then I'm gonna cut off a long section of the ribbon in the red. Next, I'm gonna show you how I put this on. So I'm gonna stick an edge down into the ribbon and then I'll take a branch and I'll cross it over. If you guys have seen any of my mantle or tree videos, this is the same technique that I'm using. But I'm basically just pushing it down and bubbling it up in the middle. And then when I push it down into the wreath, I'm just gonna find a branch and twist it around to hold it in place. I didn't really have a plan in mind for this, but I just kind of crisscrossed this red ribbon and then I put on the silver ribbon the same. And then any places that I thought were kind of bare, I added in the ribbon. So this wreath was $3.50. I added in $2 worth of ribbon. So for $5.50 at the thrift store, I got an amazing wreath. And when I was there at my store, there was probably, I would say, seven or eight wreaths. A lot of thrift stores will save their stuff to put out till Christmas. So you may be able to find some great finds. And I just think this looks so cute. I love the little snowman. Next, I found these amazing candles. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen these but it was a set of five candles. And then it also was supposed to have a garland, but mine didn't come with it. So I decided to lay down this Buffalo check scarf that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. I'm putting two of these down. So this was $2 for this. And this is underneath my console table behind my couch. And I'm just going to set up the candles. They were all connected and then you just plug them in. Next, I'm gonna come in with some fresh greenery. My greenery is from Harbor Farms, but you can get it anywhere or just something outside, or you could use a fake greenery or some picks. So I'm just going to put this in until I think it looks nice, and then I'm gonna add in some red Dollar Tree ornaments. 
And I couldn't decide what I wanted to do under here, but I just think this looks so beautiful. Oh, and this was $4.50 for the candles. Next, I'm going to paint these reindeers. These came for $8.50 for the two of them. So I decided to paint them white because my decor in my living room is white and silver. So I didn't think the red was gonna work out. So I spray painted them white and then I'm gonna come in with that same graphite by Annie Sloan. And I'm just going to do some detail work. So I'm gonna paint the antlers, I'm gonna paint where the ears are and I'm gonna paint on the feet. And then I also did it where uh, the metal was connected. But for two of these for $8.50, you cannot beat that. I was so excited to find these and I think they look so gorgeous sitting beside my table. Next project is this little wreath and I picked this up for 50 cents, but this is what it looked like. And literally all I had to do was take off the stuff I didn't want. So you don't really have to do a lot all the time, but sometimes it's the perfect wreath and you just need to take off the stuff. I hope you guys liked my Christmas thrift store finds video. I hope it gave you some great ideas of some things that you could look for in your area. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up because it really helps to support my channel. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye.